Yes, we made it. It is Monday, officially my favorite day of the week. But it wasn't always like this, let me tell you. I used to spend the whole weekend just like going crazy on food, eating everything and anything um, because Monday to Friday was my strict time and that's when I was on my diet and that's when I was getting results. That's when I was putting the work in. And I know that there are so many of you out there that are having this same battle and I promise you it does not have to be this way. The reason that I love Mondays so much is because it does give people this chance to have a fresh look on things. But what I really want to deconstruct and what I really thrive with helping people with is not seeing Monday as a time that they need to reset. This is about creating a lifestyle and this is about, about creating something much more long term so that you don't feel like you're going on this roller rollercoaster ride filled with ups and downs and I've been there you guys so I understand what it's like um, everything used to fit a little bit tight on that Monday everything used to be a little bit more difficult I'd have you know even just weird feelings in my body like these underlying I, I don't even really know how to explain it really well it was almost like I was hot underneath my skin and I used to remember feeling like it was my body's way of getting out the toxins that I would just put in on the weekend um, I just used to feel foggy, I used to get these slumps, and then it would take me till about Wednesday to feel light and happy again, and then I would do it all again on the weekend. I would, you know, go big or go home when it came to food, I wouldn't exercise, and it just became this vicious cycle. So I'm really, really passionate about helping people get out of that for good. This doesn't have to be something that we just think is an option for us maybe one day down the line. This is real and you can get there. What I do really want to talk about today um, is an afternoon slumps, especially on a Monday. Even if you are hitting this active lifestyle and you're finding that you're, you know, you've got a balance going between your weekends and your midweek, it's still very common to hit this afternoon slump and to feel like we have lost our motivation, to feel like we can't do it anymore. And normally that happens on a Monday. So I want to talk about these afternoon slumps and um, how to get around them because I'm not opposed to having them come. Um, we're humans. So instead of trying to fight and put up all these walls for these natural things that happen, I would much prefer to allow it to come, but then know what to do with it and know how to deal with it. Because I think that is more sustainable long-term than trying to make all of these drastic life changes to prevent the afternoon slump. I think we can certainly get there, don't get me wrong. But when we're trying to go from zero to hero overnight, it can be really difficult. And then that's often when we fail. So I'd like to start with providing you some tips and tricks on how to overcome those afternoon slumps and then we can work on the deeper stuff from there. Um, so you might see in office places um, people going for that afternoon workout. I was always sitting there watching people being like, I could never do that. I don't have the energy. I also am going to get all gross and sweaty. How am I supposed to come back to work afterwards? Um, so I'm not necessarily saying go and hit a high intensity workout, but go and do something just for 20 minutes that's going to slightly raise your heart rate. This is going to ensure that you have this energy boost. Um, you actually will feel, it sounds counterproductive, when you exercise you should feel tired, but you actually will experience an energy boost after that. And you're gonna be cruising on past that afternoon slump. So it doesn't always think, don't always think that it needs to be this like really high intensity sweat session. You need the full hour. Just go and do something for 20 minutes, even if that's walking on the treadmill, if it's outside, um, if it's riding the bike, whatever that looks like, lifting some weights. Uh, it doesn't have to be super high intensity. So don't use the excuse that you can't fit it in in that work lunch hour or that you you know are afraid to go back after because you're all sweaty and smelly. Um, I also wrote an article about ways to speed up a workout. So I'll post a link for that as well because there's six tips in there for you to make things nice and quick and easy. Um, the other thing that you can do to get over these afternoon slumps is stretch. So this is something that you can do right in your office. So, you know, getting up and just hinging at the hip, folding in half and just ragdolling for a moment, just like letting that jaw go, let that tension out, 
lower your shoulders, just let it go, even just for a little bit of time. Um, your body is then gonna be, you know, you, if you're sitting at a desk especially, you're essentially shutting your body down. It's going to sleep, it's forgetting what movement is like. So get up, get the blood flowing again, get some movement happening and just feel um, better about yourself. And then also that afternoon slump is less likely to happen because we've told our body, oh, actually you're gonna be moving, you're gonna be doing something. So it's not shutting down on us and going to sleep. Um, something that's very important and I see it with a lot of my clients and when they make this small change, it's like something that they didn't even think about before, but then when they start to implement it, it makes a huge difference is a screen break. So like every hour, I recommend at least 10 to 15 minutes where you take your eyes away from the screen and don't take it from your computer to your phone. It's actual screen time break. So Maybe that's reading a book. Maybe that's even just doing some writing, some journaling. I don't necessarily care what that is. There's not, it's not the what you're doing with your time. It's actually just getting your eyes away from that screen. Um, there's such a strain on our eyes all day when we're looking at those things. And that can just lead to that afternoon slump being heightened because we're just so tired. By the time two o'clock, three o'clock hits, it's our body's way of telling us like, hey, I need a break. And so if we take these regular intervals, it's going to really help. So try that out tomorrow morning and let me know how it goes for you. My favorite, not everybody's favorite, but what about, we have all these meetings and we go into these big boardrooms and we sit around and again, we're slumping. Maybe there's donuts there. So we've eaten a donut and our blood sugar spiking. It's just like this recipe for disaster for all of us. Um, move the meeting outside. So maybe ask if they wanna go for a walking meeting. Some of the best business decisions have been made while I'm out for a walk or I'm on a bike with somebody chatting about things. So it actually, like when you're standing up and when you have that energy and when you're actually having fun, you can think more clearly and decisions can be made easily instead of you know trying to talk over each other, throw notes around, looking at screens, fiddling through paperwork, just actually get that human interaction back. But you're also going to help avoid that slump because you're moving, your blood is flowing. And so any excuses that you want to give me about how like I can't do this or I don't have time in the day, just consider it next time that somebody proposes a meeting with you. Maybe ask them if they would go for a walk on that one and just see what happens. You've got nothing to lose. If they say no, you go back to saying yes to the meeting in that boardroom and nothing's been lost. Um, the other thing that is really important, this one is a big one in regards to helping the afternoon slump and it's in regards to our food. So our body, when we have like a really big lunch, it needs then time to digest that. It takes energy and that can actually make us feel a lot more tired and depleted as we head into our afternoon. So something that you can do, and this was a really hard one for me to wrap my you know teeth around because I I like big quantities of food. I'm a very like volume eater. And so my coach, when I was trying to lose a ton of weight, was like talking to me about having smaller portions. And I was thinking, oh, here we go again. Cause I had tried every single diet. I had tried anything that you can name, the colored plates, the portion sizes on this special plate that I bought, like everything, I had tried it. And so when they started talking to me about smaller lunch portions, I thought, oh, here we go again. But hear me out on this one. When we're trying to get over that afternoon slump, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're trying to lose weight or we're trying to put ourselves into a calorie deficit. But what we're trying to do is alleviate some of the strain that our body needs to digest all of that food. And so if we have a smaller lunch and follow it, you can follow it pretty quickly after with like a bigger snack and try and have that snack be um, a mixture between like carbohydrates, proteins and fats. But if we can switch that around instead of having that huge lunch and then using all of our energy to try and digest it and then we feel tired, maybe make that switch and see how you feel. I was very hesitant to do this. I didn't like the idea of having a small lunch because by that time I felt hungry and I was ready to eat. Um, but you know, having a, a good breakfast, that mid-morning snack, and then a lighter lunch and a heavier afternoon snack, after about a week, my body really adjusted well to that no more afternoon slumps, no more brain fog. And then I'm an evening workout person for the most part. And so it actually helped me have energy and motivation to wanna to go do that instead of just 
feeling like I needed to go pass out on the couch and watch Netflix. So I really highly recommend that one. Just try it out, maybe even uh, every other day. Don't try again, go from zero to hero. See what you're capable of and know that there's no right or wrong way. Just try and make these changes if you are experiencing that afternoon slump to overcome it. And then finally, one of my favorite things in the world is sleep. So my challenge to you tonight is to go half an hour tech free before bedtime and then also try and get to bed about half an hour earlier than you normally would. So I'm not gonna be your mom here. I'm not gonna tell you that you need to get to bed by 9.30 or anything crazy like that. I'm a grandma, I like my sleep, and I have no issues going to bed early, but I know that we're not all wired that way, or maybe we have work in the evening and we can't get to bed that early. But I challenge you, whatever time you would normally go to bed, let's dial that back half an hour, and then for that half an hour before that time, try and go tech free. So no phones, no social media, no laptop work, no anything in regards to tech. Again, let's maybe read that book or grab a journal and start writing something down. Put your thoughts or what you have to do for the next day. Write them down, get them out of your head so that you can hit the pillow and fall asleep because sleep is so important. And you guys, like that afternoon slump, you're tired, your body doesn't know what to do. So let's let's change something, let's do something about it. Um, I really hope those tips were helpful. If you feel like somebody would benefit from these, please share, that would mean a lot to me. Um, comment below, let me know what you think, but I'm just really excited for you to make the steps to overcome that afternoon slump because I know what it's like, it's not pretty, um, and I just really hope that this was beneficial to you. There's a ton more information that I have on these, so don't hesitate to reach out if you need any, if you have any questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.